Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a character in PowerPoint and rigging it. So here I've got what we're going to be doing today, so this is just me um, right now. And you can see I've rigged it so that the arm joint moves with it and you can even move the entire arm as a whole, etc. And then you can move the top half of the arm. So this is what we're going to be doing in PowerPoint today and you can see by the animation on the screen that we can also animate this rigged character in PowerPoint. So we're going to be basing it off um, me, but you can obviously change hair colour, etc, eyes, everything, um, and it'll be custom for you, and we will not be doing any glasses or um, or tie in this video, because that will be a bit more complicated than what we're aiming to do. Today we're just making a um, simple custom character in PowerPoint. So let's get right into it to learn how to do it. So, so, as always, we're going to start off with a blank slide in PowerPoint and we're going to change the title slide from layout to blank, so we've got that blank slide. So the shape we're going to use most um, is this rounded corners rectangle and you can play around with it using this orange dot right here to play around with the roundness, which is what we're going to be doing. Uh, again, you can use different shapes for a different, for a different style, but I find that this is the best when we create a custom character in PowerPoint. So we're going to start off with the shirt. And we're going to do a button shirt for this character. Again, this is fully customizable. You can play around with it, make it a bit fatter, make it just like a hoodie, make it a t-shirt, etc. But, um, I'm, sure, but um, I'm going to be doing a shirt, as I said. So this is going to be a white shirt, so we're going to make it slightly darker. We're going to do it like 15% uh, darker white. There we go. And no outline, because um, I find that outlines for these types of characters don't look very good. So there's our lovely t-shirt um, and we're gonna just make our trousers next and we're gonna make it a bit um, smaller down here and again we can play around with this to make the roundedness the same as the t-shirt so there we go um, or the shirt even um, and we're gonna make the trousers a bit darker like it's almost black trousers so like that color like that color and now we can make maybe a bit lighter actually so again all of this I'm just playing around with it you can do the same and we're just gonna highlight everything group it and make it a bit smaller like that there we go um, and now control shift G will unhide it and we will so again you can play around with this make it a bit fatter actually size this up a bit and what we're going to do next is just make the legs as I was saying so to make the legs we're just gonna hold control shift so that we could drag it along the same axis and then we're just gonna um, paste it right there, make it a bit smaller as one of the legs and pull that right down. So right now we're just getting the the shape sorted, so that's sort of the legs, um, this the trousers and the, the shirt right here. So we're now going to make the, the um, rectangle here which will be like where the buttons go on your shirt and so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new shape up here using rectangle and just pull it through here, go shape format, no outline, and make it a slightly darker, so just 25% there, and just, you can highlight both, this, this is a good tip, you can highlight both of it, and go align, center, so that it, it's in the center, and you can see that didn't do anything, because it was already in the center, which is good. So we can open the selection pane, and just pull that down, um, to, to uh, just above there, so that is just above the shirt that we have there. Now we're going to make the buttons, uh, again, just circles, very easy, no outline, make it a bit darker, so maybe 35% um, and just make it, hold shift, uh, control shift and to size it down there like that. And you can use this just to place it, go control shift again, just make the buttons as big as you like, scroll in, make it a bit smaller, there we go. So that's one button and uh, another tip is when, when you copy it once, so let's say I copy it there, you can go control Y just to repeat the last action so you can see I've created loads of buttons there. So there's our button t-shirt, you can actually pull down the buttons a bit. And let's move on to the arms. We will come back to this a bit later because this does really very good. Um, now we're going to create a new rectangle, actually we can just copy the one underneath because it's the same colour. Make it a bit smaller and what we're going to do is pull this as far as possible so this this um, orange dot pull it as far as possible so that you get this perfectly rounded um it's not really a rectangle anymore it's like a like an oval it's not really a rectangle anymore it's like a 
like an oval almost with straight edges. Uh, it's it, it's it's good for like the arms here. So what we're going to do is just make a very neutral pose, just make it down here and try and make it line up with the curve that we've got there. So you can see it curved right around there. So that's very nice. Um, and what we're going to do, actually quite sad that PowerPoint doesn't really have a mirror feature, I guess. Uh, but we can rotate this flip on the horizontal axis. Okay, we've got two now and then we're just going to control shift and pull this right down and then we can rotate it along the axis and then with the axis and then we've got a lower arm here um, there we go very simple um, and note that this is still the clothes this is not the actual arm but we're not actually going to see this upper arm here so we can make this a bit fatter um, as if well, let's just make that a bit faster as well. Control shift um, and pull that over there. Again, rotate, flip on the horizontal axis. And then there we go, that's aligned with the other arm. Now we're gonna make the hands. So you you will be able to see the hands in here. So we're gonna go again, control shift, a lot to see the hands in here. So we're gonna go again, control shift, a lot of control shift, you know, and then make this a bit smaller and then find a skin tone color in here. So I will do uh, we could go more fill colors and just have a play around with this um maybe something like maybe something like that will work again all customizable um i'm not sure let me just bring in my my reference image just so that i can this is the the reference color so how about we use this color instead there we go, that's a bit better. Um, want uh, change to shirt color, change trouser colors, everything, you can even have shorts if you want. And there we go, that's the hand done. We can make it a bit smaller. And what we're gonna do is just con uh, hold shift so that we can select two, and we're just gonna control those together so that we've got this arm together. And you can see it's not raked yet because it's not um, it's not moving It's not moving over the the, uh, the elbow, where the elbow's supposed to be. But anyway, that's that's good enough. And then we can just go control C, control V, and pull this over here. Again, flip on the horizontal axis. I'm gonna go a bit faster now because we've done a lot of this stuff. Center back, group it with there, and there we go. Okay, here, and this is gonna require a bit of a curve feature. So what we're going to do is just make a rectangle, very simple rectangle, no outline, make it a bit darker. Um, actually, no, let's make it completely white. Uh, there we go, and pull it to there that's good so it should snap quite easily there we go snap quite easily there we go and just pull this wait let's rotate it one more time around there we go so we want to be able to control it using the the um, orange button that we've got right here this orange thing right here and we can just pull it down squash it a bit and we don't add one but it just gets a bit more complicated this is a lot easier there we go so there's our collar let's copy it so that it copies there rotate flip horizontal there we go there's our collar again it doesn't need to be perfect because in life it's not going to be perfect so if it's not perfect it's actually more realistic so again create a new um it's actually more realistic so again create a new um this is going to be our neck that's a bit of a fat neck let's make it a bit smaller no outline make it skin color center back and there is our lovely fat neck for me. Um, again, you can make it thinner if you want. That's more like me. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's make our head circle. Very easy. Hold shift to snap it so that it's a perfect circle. It's a bit of a big head, but to be fair, I do have a pretty big head. Um, and I don't mean that as a metaphor, I mean like literally. Uh, but anyway, we've got a circular head. We can make it squash a bit that way. Depends on what you are. Um, when you want again you can even use uh that as your head you can go like that and just pull it in a bit so that it's more like that so you've got straight edges around here so that might look better for you but i'm just going to use this because why not and again make it skin color there we go and we're just going to make this a bit lighter a bit lighter skin color so we're just going to go like this and go like that so it's a bit so that you can tell the difference between the the neck and the head now we're going to make the ears, control shift again, make it a bit smaller, 
and this the ears are not like that unless you're Mickey Mouse which I hope you're not but if Mickey Mouse was watching this video sponsor me <laughs> no I'm joking but like anyway uh, we're not Mickey Mouse so we can make this ears a bit more like an oval like that and then rotate it now people actually underestimate how low the ears are the ears are actually quite low in comparison so it's actually more around here than than where I think because you've got all this hair up here which we haven't done yet so now what we're going to do is we're just going to make the other ear um, you again you can play around with this I'm doing this very quick because I don't want the tutorial to be long too long it's already like 10 minutes already but anyway uh, let's rotate this this way you know what let's make it a bit better rotate rotate flip horizontal there we go so we've got two ears there we can pull it in a bit and there is our head now we're going to make the eyes again circles just click boom black eyes very simple uh, and i think black eyes look look better for kind of thing and while we're at it we can um again you can change your eye color if you like blue eyes or whatever but my eyes are pretty dark so we're gonna do it pretty realistic for me so now we're going to make a semicircle for our head and we're just gonna go like this, pull it around, round, pull it around, hold shift, make it a bit bigger. Um, now the hair is probably the hardest part, especially if you've got a, a better hairstyle than I do. My hairstyle is pretty easy to replicate um, in real life. Like, uh, but we're not gonna spend too much time on the head today. Um, you could do it in your own time. Just use. You could do it in your own time. Just use shapes um, to to make this sort of thing. And some good things that PowerPoint has is this edit shapes tool. This edit point, so we can actually pull this in a bit, etc. So this is just a cool feature that PowerPoint has. So we can pull it, and we can change the the way it curves. It curves, so that we can change that. But we're not doing that. We can. I can have a whatever it's called, I think it's like a beret or something, uh, the French hat, you know, but no, we're not doing that, we're doing a, um, let's redo, 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 we're just going to do a cap, very easy, um, there, there we go, and another thing that this, the PowerPoint shapes tab has is, um, let, let's do this, so we can hold both of these and go merge shapes, union, so look, we've got a full shape there, but I want to make this stick out a bit more there we go i don't really wear caps so this i guess it isn't really realistic but no that looks weird darker red there we go no outline nice cap uh, okay uh there's our cap let's move this to the side and there's a one-eyed monster that's not very good um no offense to people who have one eyes but i'm not a cyclops so let's give me two eyes there we go we've got two eyes there we go we've got two eyes and i look really dumb right now i don't don't have eyebrows. I'm a Mona Lisa, you know. Um, anyway, uh, let's move the eyes a bit down and make some eyebrows, which are probably the hardest things to do. But we are again gonna just. This tutorial is already as long as it is. It's already 12 minutes now. So there we go. There's some eyebrows. Lovely. Ah! Damn. Oh my god. Point. okay yeah this sometimes happens it just glitches and i can't move it so there we go there's our eyebrows uh, so there we go there's our eyebrows um you can see let me just copy it paste what my reference has right now look at this this is the eyebrow that i i made myself so i'm not going to put that in there because i am doing exactly what you're going to be following so there we go we've got a thing we're going to again that's a bit of a that's a bit of a weird look at that <laughs> look at that um but we're gonna we're gonna make it a bit less dumb and we're just gonna rotate that flip horizontal um then we're gonna send this to the back boom and we have an eyebrows for this person who doesn't really look like me right now uh it's not actually that clever but we can just put some tufts of hair sticking out on the other side so let's quickly just move this along boom 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 this really looks really bad, but okay. Let's just oh, don't do that. Size that down. Size that down. And just put tufts of hair right here. And just continue doing this for the rest of it. I've got black hair, so that's the colour of my hair. 
That actually looks very bad, but I did already, so I really can't be asked to change it. Be asked to change it now. So there's my tuft of hair coming through, and we can actually make a bit more tuft of hair there. And we can do the same for the other side. Just group that. Go control shift. Flip horizontal. There we go. That's my other tuft of hair. Okay, very simple. We've got a cat. Uh, like very. That's a bit better. Okay, so this actually is starting to take a bit of shape, which is good. Now, I said we're going to go back to what we were doing before. So we're going to go to these legs down here. And what we're going to do is just add some sort of shape. What we can actually do is just control these, um, shift these, sorry, um, and just make these a bit lighter. Well, actually, no, I, I, I like what it is right now. And what we're going to do is just um, shift, uh, control shift and drag it to make it a bit smaller. Uh, not smaller, I mean, to copy it. And we're just going to pull that right in there. Let's just snap it using PowerPoint's tool and snap it here, right here. Okay. So this is just a bit of extra, um, extra shading that I like to add. We're just going to go shape format, and we're just going to also pull this down here. Shape format, uh, shape, and we're going to make a gradient basically. So if we go gradient fill, this is a rubbish gradient right now, and we are not doing radial, we are doing linear. There we go, so the darkest thing will be um, much darker, so it'll be like there. and the other dark will be the same as what we've got so we're gonna make this zero that's wrong no we're gonna make this 90 wrong way around i keep forgetting which way it goes so there we go that's just a bit of shading um and we can do the same over here just copy and paste that there there we go there's our shape our character i mean not our shape it's a group of shapes um and we're going to make our bottom shape shapes around here which is going to just be circle this is just gonna be the, the, the like your shoes I guess um, looks like oh my god it's snapping again okay there we go um, there's our shoe no outline and then we're gonna make a rectangle and there we go so what I find helpful is that if we go into the um, the shape the selection pane now we can actually name these things i can't bother to do it right now but if you wanted to it can be very helpful just to name these these things like low low arm etc name these these things like low low arm etc low arm um and that makes it a lot easier when you're animating and stuff uh again this is a quite a long process but it's very good if you want to create your character there we go there's our shoot lovely group control shift copy it on the other side there we go, we've got a character, and now we're going to start rigging it. Um, this tutorial is already quite long, but we're going to rig it anyway, because I promise you that we're going to rig it. So we're going to do what I did in one of my um, tutorials, I think I, I uploaded it like a few days ago. And it's about rigging it using, really have um, good sort of animating things. Uh, so we have to sort of go around that by cheating a bit with these points so you just want to put a circle i like using circles you can use whatever you want but circles is the best just a point to where your joint is so for example that's my my elbow we're going to make shape fill none and we're going to keep the outline sorry outline for now um and we're just going to make it a bit larger than the lower arm okay so here's our lower arm and we're just going to group that together so now if you see when I rotate this group, it rotates around. So now if you see, when I rotate this group, it rotates around the point. So there we go, that's rigged, right? Um, and the other thing is we're just gonna make this circle no outline, so you can't see it at all. It's just the group that is rotating around there and it's rigged now. Now we're going to do the other arm um, rigging. So we just do these for the arms. The legs don't need any rigging because there's no real joints in the leg right now. You could rig the head if you wanted to, but I'm not doing that right now. So let's do the other arm. Again, make a circle. Let's do this a bit quicker. Um, size it down, put it in the point. It won't be perfect because I'm doing it quite fast. No out outline, uh, no fill, sorry. And no fill, sorry. And make it a bit bigger, even bigger than the lower arm. Because what we're going to do after we've got this 
is that we can group these two arms together. So if we group those together, now you can see, again, rotate around here, but the arm's not moving. The lower arm, sorry, it's not moving. So this is really tedious if you wanted to animate this, but it's a lot quicker than um, what we're doing here is if we group both of those groups together, you can see it and rotates the whole arm, and then we can go Control Shift G and then ro rotate the, this arm on the stone. So that's what you saw at the beginning me doing. Um, that was just the animation. That's how I did it. So let's just move that back down. So here is our arm again. We're gonna gonna do that. No outline. Okay. So do the same for the other arm, and then we would have rigged this entire character you can add glasses using the transparency feature in powerpoint um, and just play around with adding ties and stuff other other different colors hoodies etc it's very custom customizable and using this um using this concept of creating custom characters you can literally create any character you want provided that it's a human um, and anyway that this is how you create a character in powerpoint um, but i will be showing you some other um, software it's not just powerpoint in the coming weeks uh, i'll be doing using blender using blender to create other characters and also objects animations stuff like that so watch out for those if you want to learn a new software for 3d animation anyway thanks for watching if you have any questions make sure to comment it down below make sure to subscribe if you found this tutorial